Hey, so this is just an update video about my weight loss and and my hair, but I'll just tell you guys about my hair first. I haven't really taken many pictures about it, uh, of it, but lately it's been thin and dry and I don't know what I did to it, but it has grown. So, I don't know. It's kind of a strange paradox there. It's growing, but it's not growing healthy. So, I, I don't know what I need to do to fix that. Probably do some more deep conditioning treatments. Or I had my hair out of braids for a while, so that could be it too. It wasn't protected well. But, also, my weight loss. I, I've lost some weight. I can feel it. Like, I'm not going to give you guys concrete numbers because me personally, I don't feel the number on the scale is an indication of the benefits that I get from working out and being healthy. Like, I don't know. Because I can look at the number at the scale. I know that I'm always going to be heavy. That's just how my body's built. But to me, it means more if my clothes are fitting well, if I can breathe properly, if just things like that, if my endurance improves. So, yeah, my, my pants have been fitting properly, and I noticed that they had been getting tight. Um, and some things I just learned are that I need to, like, run more. Like, actually run. Going on the treadmill isn't enough, because I feel it's, it's almost like artificial running. The treadmill does part of the work for you to a, a certain extent. So, because I can go on the treadmill for like 20 or 30 minutes and feel fine, but if I run for, like hardcore for maybe 10 minutes, then I really feel it. So, I also need to learn how to breathe properly while doing physical activity. Because I don't know if a lot of you know this or not, but... It's important to have a good breathing technique when exercising. Like you always see in those videos, like you do something, like you're going back and they're like, inhale, then you're pushing, exhale. So I need to figure out how to incorporate that into my exercises, especially running, because I have asthma. Now, I personally don't believe in taking these inhalers because God knows what they do. So... Yeah, I'm weaning myself off of the inhaler, and hopefully I can improve my cardiovascular and respiratory health that way. Um, what else? So, this, the past two weeks, I've been going out to the gym. I'm doing some cardio, like whether it's bike, treadmill, elliptical, and then I try to do some weight lifting. Um... And then the other day I went for a run, just a couple of laps around the school park. And yeah, I found that a great asset for me is to have somebody there with you who's determined and dedicated as well. And somebody to keep you accountable, especially if you, the first little bit where you're kind of like talking yourself out of it, like, oh, do I really need to lose the weight? Am I that bad? Or I don't really feel like doing it today. I'll do it tomorrow. And you just keep putting it off, putting it off, putting it off. But if you have that kind of person there to give you strength and to motivate you, I think it really helps. And you need to pick that partner carefully. Make sure that they aren't like a weak-minded individual. Like, they are going to... Like, if you say, oh, I don't really feel like doing it today, I'm tired, they're going to be like, yeah, okay, I don't want to do it either, that they want to do it, and you have to be the same for that person. And also make sure that they don't try and sabotage you, like, after a workout, like, let's go get a burger or something, we just did all this work, come on, or do you want to get some ice cream or something like that. Like, make sure that there aren't enablers around you. And... Yeah, I, me personally, I think it's important for the first bit. But if you're a kind of person who's very dedicated and self-motivated and self-driven, especially when it comes to things like athletic, then go for it. Me, when it comes to sports and stuff like that, I, my drive comes from being in a team. So, yeah.
but also make sure that they're not too aggressive because I went running with my brother one day and I knew when I was pushing myself to the to my limits like I have asthma and I know when to quit but he was like no no we have to keep going we have to keep going and he was like yelling and getting mad and he was getting frustrated but yeah you don't want that kind of person who gets is never satisfied or who expects too much of you you know what you can do you know your body you know where it's at if something feels really uncomfortable or too stressful just take it easy but yeah that's my weight loss and hair update I'm gonna be posting some pictures on Facebook I have one and maybe I'll take another one today but yeah I'll talk to you guys later